Yeah, thanks, Whitney. Every year in the last couple of weeks in January, volunteers visit all around the county to conduct the point in time count. While the count itself isn't anything new, this year's numbers could set a record, especially if it's following the trend from the past couple of years. Yes, yes. When many of us were getting off of work earlier this evening, the day was just beginning for staffers and volunteers at warming shelters all around the area. It's a part of an initiative designed to help take a snapshot of homelessness across Spokane County. Here in the city, volunteers are starting at locations like this one, the Truth Ministry Shelter. It's an opportunity for us to survey people experiencing homelessness and understand a little bit more about the circumstances and the landscape of their homeless situation. Over the next 10 days, about 142 volunteers will spread out over 200 shelters around the area, as well as unsheltered areas like bridges, parks, and street corners. They're using an app called Counting Us that includes anywhere from a five to 20 minute interview to get a better understanding of homeless issues. You see a sheltered survey and then an unsheltered or doubled up survey. And that's the survey that we use for anywhere that's not considered a shelter or a warming center. The data from this app populates immediately, giving it the real meaning of point in time. But it's what happens with these numbers later that makes them especially useful. If 2019's count is anything like the past couple of years, it will show an increase. Here you can see from 2016 to 2018, Spokane County's homeless population went from 981 people to 1,245. So the city of Spokane uses these numbers to get a better perspective on the local issue of homelessness. But the data also goes to the Department of Housing and Urban Development, or HUD. HUD then uses these numbers to analyze how effective their work is each year and how to properly distribute resources and funding. Now, while the app stores and sends in the data as soon as it's collected, it could take a couple of months before the city has the final tally. In the newsroom, Shana Waltower, send it back to you, Winnie.